Ladies and gentlemen, good day. What's going on? You always say good night, uh, but people I, listen to this like it could be in the morning. That's true, true, mm. true, true. I wanted to actually start the show with a little something different. Okay, like, all right, let's hear it. Like uh, I want to say like something. What's like, up, fellow students? Kusha or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> like everything I that's read already taken. <laughs> do do a little bit of uh, Bayesian patois. Huh? Do a little Bayesian patois. That. I, I can't. I need. I need to be talking with someone else from the islands. It comes out. Oh, I hear you on the phone, man. No, nah, you never hear. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm if, I, if, if you do, I'm normally well, talking yeah. to someone. Like you said, yeah. he has to be talking to a person. You're talking yeah. to us. No, but like someone else <laughs> from the islands. Okay, sorry, Carlos. It, it, Carlos, sorry. give me some inspiration, Carlos. <laughs> it comes out. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna do it. Not with that. Uh, <laughs> no. Not with that Bob Marley filter today. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, that that was horrible. This is fucking terrifying. Uh, oh well. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Snapchat. So bad. Good. Bad look. <laughs> yeah, especially for four twenty. Come on, it's not like Bob Marley is about four twenty. No, it's not like his day. It's it's more than Should that. Should we reference four twenty, considering that this will not release? In yeah, it's fine. Well, sure, we're recording on four twenty, so why not talk about yeah. it, man? It's yeah. uh, because it, it, when it comes out. Everybody's going to be like, oh, that shit was like fucking two weeks ago. So just so That's everybody fine. knows, okay. uh, when we recorded this, it was 420. So there's a preface. Yeah, that Problem solver. I, I don't think we started it yet. No, we did. Yeah, we did. The show has actually started. <laughs> it's going on. Did it? Damn, yeah. Luis. We, oh. And then, uh, hi, I'm Luis. No, we, we, we didn't, didn't get do to the that intro point yet. yet. Luis no, is drinking too much. Oh, yeah. Slow yeah, down. Slow it down. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's, get, let's get together, fellas. All right. So <clears throat> in tonight's show... um. Let me introduce the guests first. So we have Carlos. <laughs> Damn, you live in Oakland, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was trying to let the the the, 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 the I was going to say ambulance, ambulance police car. I don't know. I was trying to let it pass, but that's definitely a cop car. <laughs> All right, so we 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 got Carlos there, live from Oakland, and then we got uh we got Luis. What's up? And we have Jake. Hey. And we have myself, which is Shane. Prescott. And uh, tonight's show, we're going to be talking wait, about... Wait, 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 where can we wait, find what? you guys what? on social media? You could, you could um, give a shout out to your Twitch. Like personally? Jake. Hey, hey Twitch stream. Uh, my one guy <laughs> follows me, Mario69, I think is your name. Good looks, brother. Thanks you for following Are you me. still uh, streaming? <laughs> no, dude. Comcast is fucking charged my ass, dude. Oh, man. Com- <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, Comcast, Comcast put the Kai, Com, Com, Comcast put the Kai Bosch Kai on the Twitch stream. <laughs> Jesus. That's a hard sentence, man. Good job. Yeah, it is. You made it, did your best. Yeah. You tried. Comcast I mean, you tried. The, <laughs> I got, I got. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, all right, all right. So, in tonight's show, we're talking about Ghost in the, the Ghost in the Shell um, picture of Scarlett Johansson and. The previous, not really previous trend, but the the whole trend of Hollywood whitewashing, and we're probably gonna touch into the Doctor Strange trailer, and if we have time, we'll probably go into uh, the Daredevil uh, Netflix series season two. So, four twenty guys, any of you guys uh smoke the ganj or? Oh know? yeah, smoking with all my bros. Yeah, <laughs> like in the, the mad blunts, the festivities, vape nation. Yep, uh, the devil's the devil's lettuce. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> nobody calls no? it that. No, calls no. that wacky religious tobacco. groups. Literally, uh, literally, nobody's ever said that. <laughs> but I think I just said it. The devil's I, lettuce. I, I've seen it. First of the first. Time. I know. I know. Nobody's ever said that because that's not one of the terms that Ali G mentioned <laughs> oh, to the man. the, D, the DEA agent. No, but the, this is used by people against it. People who don't know the lingo. Oh, and it's with, a, with a thick southern accents from the Bible Belt. Mm. Oh. My, yeah. They probably smoke the most weed, but anyway, who nah. cares? Nah. It's only a plant, as uh, the the great Bob Marley said. You know, it comes from God. They consume so the most uh, gay porn, though, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yes. Who? What? Who? Bible, who? Bible who belters. Let's not, you oh, know, okay. that's, you know, this is a touchy subject now. Eh, me. All the Bible we, belters are going to be like, about. how do they know? Oh, well, that's, the that's, statistics are out there. I mean, uh, yeah, well, you could track, I mean, just because, just because you put that, uh, Incognito mode. Incognito mode? Yeah, that doesn't, that <laughs> doesn't like, mean. like, no, no, no. That's just for you. We yeah, still see. All that does is just not save your history. But yeah. all that information is still going out there. It's still they going still out know there. They still know what you're doing. Yeah, it's just not on your browser history. Yeah, it's just your so spouse like, you can't know. So when your go wife comes back and find out. Like, there's no more fucking bigdingus.com. I mean, your wife. I'm more sure like you'd be worried about the feds in case they bust what, what in the trying to, the feds don't, you know. The feds care about gay porn? No, they care about your browser history. Oh, well, I mean, so. I thought we were just talking about gay porn here. I don't think we were getting that oh, serious. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, whatever. I thought you guys said I mean, something about incognito, but eh, whatever. I mean, they, so, would, they would only care if it was like... Illegal? Yeah. You, well, you, were, you had like plans to cre- create <laughs> like explosives or something like that. Yeah, but you'd go through like secret gay porn sites to do it, so you... <laughs> It's like the best terrorist. She's like, oh, yeah, just look at gay. We don't, exactly. we, don't, we don't look at that. It's just gay porn. We don't look at that. It's like, yes. The, <laughs> the gay anarchist cookbook. Oh, man. <laughs> I will read that book. That, yeah. That's a good book. They probably got some that's sick like, ass shit in there, man. Yep. It's probably really nice, too. <laughs> it's well laid out. Yep. It's well laid out. It's a bestseller here in San Francisco. Oh, yeah? Hey. yeah. <laughs> but that, is it like, I, I feel like that would actually just be a cookbook, though. Like, just a really nice cookbook. <laughs> And why you got to make, like like make like a, a really, like a really Not make a nice, a nice meal fruit. Maybe some duck or orange. Something special. All right. So, oh, all yeah. right, guys. So main topic. Whitewashing in Hollywood. Uh, a couple, well, a couple of days ago. It's been ago, going on forever. Well, yeah, it's been going on. But a couple of days ago, um, the studio or whoever's doing the live action Ghost in the Shell movie posted a picture of. Scarlett Johansson in role of uh, I can't remember her name. Ghost in the Shell. Uh, Major Major Kusanagi. Yeah, and the internet went Matoko. crazy about but it. But the thing is, they announced that she was going to play it a long time ago. I know. And they, some they, people went crazy because you know they actually knew what was happening. But now that there's a physical like picture image, it's in your face. Now people are like, oh, blatant. Like, it's actually happening. They're actually going through with it. That's a, kind of a dumb move, I think. You, yeah? Yeah. Why, because, why, well, why so? You got all of these movies that have... I mean, you could, back in the 80s, I say, well, that's just how things were. When you had Fisher Stevens putting on blackface and using a, a, a <laughs> Hindu 80s? accent. Yeah. <laughs> with a short... I mean, was it Short Circuit? It was Short yeah, Circuit. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny oh, yeah, number that's five. Right. Johnny five. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're very right, yeah. So you have Fisher Stevens. I mean, I swear to God, I thought that dude was Indian for like my yeah, entire everyone, childhood. Everyone did. My entire childhood. And it wasn't yeah. until like, I was like 20 something. I was like, wait, what? Like that dude? <laughs> That's that well, dude? Well, he was popular back then too. So like you'd see him in that and then you'd go see him in another movie. You'd just be a regular white but dude. I was like, too, like I was too little to, to, I was too little to, to, Grass. to get it. Yeah. I just thought that that was like, oh, He's that guy's a great was, actor. <laughs> no, I thought he was an <laughs> Indian guy. That Indian guy could put on fucking white face and use the American accent really well. No, I didn't know that they were the same people. He looked different. <laughs> he didn't look the same in that movie because of the makeup. And so I just didn't even know that that guy had been in other movies. So, I mean, this and that's just one example. There was thousands of, of cases. But now people are getting hip to it and people are not really endorsing those type of decisions like God, it God what was it God in Egypt? Yeah, God of Egypt. <clears throat> yeah, God in. There's just God one Egypt. Egypts. They didn't have multiple Egypts. They have multiple Egypts. Although I, I, I heard that movie was just fucking horrible. beyond fictional. As in, like everything about it was just ridiculous and over the top, and like n- nothing I mean, was actually it, it, grounded. It, it wasn't a documentary, on, Louise. No, I no no. <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? Really? You said beyond <laughs> fictional. Even more fiction than it actually is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, talking, sure. it was talking about Greek gods, so. Was it like Horus and... Uh, that's not Greek gods. That's Egyptian wait. gods. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Horus and Andy. Horus and Andy. <laughs> that's... Um, <laughs> Sun God Ra. <laughs> yes. But, uh, I mean, yeah, like... Well, you had, who, been, who was in that? It was... Uh, <laughs> Christopher... Uh, uh, Leonidas was in it. Yeah. So, uh, he was... But he he's was Roman, though, isn't he? T'Challa was in that movie, too. 
he was yeah ja- was chad he? chadwick chad chaz Bose, bozeman yeah, boss man is. chad chadwick boss man he's not he's not been he was like the That's only good. non-white character in that whole entire movie i heard overheard that he played like the god of knowledge or something like that well, there's should. another black character but it's as some, he should some no name actor so yeah, that was, movie tanked you had uh, the other the other well. um what was the one that Rid- ridley scott did yeah moses, uh, moses. Uh, no, Moses was uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Bale. That's the one I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah. Gods and Kings. I don't no, think it it's Moses. Exodus. Exodus, Gods Exodus, and Kings. Exodus, yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. So you had yeah, Moses was, and you had Ramses. That was um, uh, had, Joel Egerton. Joel Egerton and Christian Bale. Which is like obviously, even wider. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. And that movie, movie tank too. So nobody went to go see that. It's like people are getting hip to it. Like, we're, we're well, no, it's like people are like, oh, well, we can't, This you want this movie to make money? We gotta get these white actors, but they're not making money. It's just well, I think they're still they're, not making they're money. They're not making money because the movies are probably bad. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that. Yeah, so yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact yeah. that you don't have actual people in the roles that look like the people from the like original. That would be there yeah, just, from the fables. Na- nowadays, that shit is spreading through social media like wildfire. So people like immediately know, like, oh wait, there's one of those movies. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, right, bullshit. Right, and right. the the one thing that I hate about this entire argument is the people that they're almost victim not victim shaming of course they're not victim shaming but the ones that are like the the words that are coming down on people complaining and are like oh you you weren't against racism in hollywood two years mm. ago what changed oh you should shut up and whatever and it's like listen you should never be against somebody who is against racism yes just because oh Number he just came into in it life. and maybe he's not a, as hipster <laughs> as you are just because oh i've i've been into anti-racism <laughs> for a long time now it's like well, okay great <laughs> nice oh yes, my god did. yeah i mean oh, wait, wait what's what is that thing people are called um uh sj what w's sjw's sister with voices <laughs> no, no he's talking about he's saying, saying, <laughs> he's saying super saiyans back oh, yeah. sjw's yeah yeah social justice Warriors. warriors workers uh-huh. yes yeah. warriors no social warriors. justice workers <laughs> social. <laughs> my uncle was a i gotta find a job man <laughs> my uncle was, he worked for the city for like 30 years man shout out to yeah. my rest in peace actually my my tío eduardo rest oh. in peace Rip. work for the city as a social justice worker i think it was just social worker i might just be social the, worker yeah, yeah, might be, social i'm worker. adding the justice in there but it, the it sounds way better would be like a guy who gives out like superhero names to like people with no jobs. Maybe. <laughs> what? But, but that's like a but that's like a diss now, right? If you if if somebody on the internet calls you a, a, a S, SJW, that's like a you're fucking. It's a neg. It's a neg. Yeah. I mean, I guess they are some. I mean, those those people that are that are against the people that kind of are just doing it in social media. I mean, oh. I think it's like what what the fuck? Why are you wasting your time? I mean. If somebody can only or only has the passion to do it in social media because, I mean, to go out and like go to protests and all that shit, you have to be really passionate Mm -hmm. and you weren't going to do it regardless. So at least you're my thought on that is like at least you're sharing it on social media and maybe maybe somebody who is passionate enough didn't know. I and agree. now he sees his thanks to you, and now you he goes out and does it. So maybe you know it's it's just about you're at least you're spreading, spreading knowledge. knowledge at least. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, you're not doing you're not going out to the streets or anything, but you probably weren't going to do it anyways. Mm. So the, I mean, there's no just there's just no reason to be against people spreading that message of like social justice. Well, the, yeah. the people that are against it are actual. Are, are the one. <laughs> in, the, in, in this case, yes. <laughs> that's People why they're, that's the why they're against so, but here, Here's the question. Uh, everybody knows about the uh, the doctor, Doctor Doctor Strange. Uh, he, he has a character that's been whitewashed. The fucking, Doctor Strange? Yeah, the, the, the ancient one. The ancient one. It's With, like uh, one of the whitest, whitest women in the universe. Oh, Tilda Swinton. <laughs> yeah, but she's here, here's, the thing with, here's the thing with Marvel. When, uh, when they, they kind of... Uh, oh, Mandarin let's, let, let's justify this racism. Go ahead. Here we go. The racism <laughs> okay, talking, on. everyone. You, you're, you're talking about Marvel. And go ahead, Carlos Captain Racism. <laughs> Marvel like, can't well, do it if wrong Marvel here. does it, there's a good reason. Yep. Say your piece, Carlos. Okay. Put on your Mickey Mouse ears first. Hold on. 
<laughs> Listen, just because I got a little Disney stock in the, in, in the, <laughs> in the bank. <laughs> no, what, so their explanation is that the Ancient One is a moniker that is kind of passed down. Like, so, it's, so there's been many Ancient Ones. And so the, so the Tilda Swinton character is not the same Ancient One that is from the books where, you know, it's, it's that kind of... Yeah, but the, does very, that happen in the books? Stereotypical. Because in, in, in the books... The only, the only he's reference a, he's to an the old Asian, Asian one, man. Yeah, in every yeah. incarnation that I see, but there's there's a kind of a problem with that too, though. If you make him an old Asian man, the fact that there's like a like a Western character that goes and learns something from an old ancient man or that by itself is already racist because it's why? like the magic the magic is Asian it, person or is it part of their culture? <laughs> no, I think is like, Doctor Strange just all about cultural appropriation? Mm, no. Know. Maybe. I mean, kind of, actually. I, don't know. I mean, you can't really say that because, like, if the story he is written, a, that is how it is. Then it's just he happened to be an Asian guy, and you know, it's not like he's going to China or someplace just to learn. Well, he's something. he's a Tibet, yeah. Tibet, yeah. Tibetan he doesn't monk. Just, he doesn't just pick some random guy. He didn't wear an Indian headdress at Coachella. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's not doing that. You know, he's the actual real deal. I mean, he's Native American, it, by the way. Sorry. Uh, if you kind of look at how the world that we live in, most places like Tibet, they kind of have that, I won't say mystique, but those ways of the past that they're still practicing, you know, where they kind of found a way to perfect it and they don't really need to go forward in the ways that the modern man is. So if you want to go back and have a little bit of peace of mind and learn some ancient techniques or you know whatever mm-hmm. is it the, the cold, the, it's so much older like these these are like dark arts and they right. go back you know yeah. years they go back years yeah. and so there's no way for like <laughs> you, can, you can't like you can't learn it from in philadelphia because like yeah there, there's <laughs> no like, there's, like, there's you know, ancient philadelphia yeah exactly there's no ancient philadelphia so <laughs> they're, unless they're you only learn it from like a native american maybe yeah but even they came over like i, yeah. I don't know I don't know. What? Yeah, the timeline's a little. No, they they. Who has who know, has the, this these these knowledges? Who who's been the monks, settled bro. the longest? Yeah, it was in that's, that's pretty much it. Asian who's culture been un- definitely has it more. Who's settled and hasn't really been uh, disrupted too much? And you can we can say the Asian yeah. cultures, like especially the Chinese. Yeah, well, he doesn't go to you like. Know? It's not like he goes to like. Yeah, he goes to like, like Tokyo magical, and like like he doesn't go to Tokyo and just like outdrift everybody. <laughs> nice. Well, well, his first try. Well, he owns. It wasn't his, his first a car. It wasn't his first. <laughs> yeah, he goes. He goes into Tibet, which is kind of the Himalayas. <laughs> it's 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 not it's, like it's, it's known. Not like, it's known for its kind of like fancy. It's somewhere in between, like stuff. India and I don't even think it's 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 not in China. It's in India. I think where he goes. Mm. Okay. The the problem that stands out more with uh, Ghost in the Shell is that she is the fucking police chief chief of um. Of the Japanese, okay. whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the yeah yeah is it Neo Tokyo? No, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and like it's it's a, it's a fictitious Tokyo. It's such a the... it's such a story that is based completely in Japan and in in future Tokyo, and it's like and like hella backed by Japanese cultural. Like shit. if if the movie that they're making here takes place in Japan, where she's in command of everybody else who's a japanese character and then she's like an american woman it's i don't know it's gonna be weird and then they had they, well, they tried the whole fucking uh cg trying to make her look more asian but that failed well, i think i, I think know. i think you you read about that more carlos didn't you yeah they they there was a, a little bit of you're not carlos this, i know i'm sorry i was <laughs> jumping in maybe, maybe i, I know uh, no go ahead shane one day, nah, one day. there was a little write-up about the studio trying to do that so we don't know if they're actually going to go ahead with that from what i know no, no, unless you know no they're not going more. ahead with well, it they, 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 they posted right. they tried they, they it tried it right. and then they like abandoned it really fast right which is possibly very smart for them yeah but okay now yeah. hear me out this is how like i can kind of see scarlett johansson being that character for two reasons right one she's a cyborg all right so, it she could be anything. The second is it's a future. Granted, granted, when the when the book was made, 
right? Was probably right. around the 80s or 19, something like that. Yeah, 85, I think. Right. So oh. things weren't, we weren't actually into the future that we were into right now. Mm-hmm. Whereas mm-hmm. in you go to Tokyo, you're going to see billboards of, you know, you know, let's say Armani men or whoever, you're going to see like a white person or you're going to see someone else of a different race, you know, selling products. So what I'm thinking is how the future is kind of going. And especially since we're probably open to being more of a, you know, melting pot of a race in, you know, the future, something like this could happen. You know, Japan in this timeline story could be a very progressive Japan, more so than what it is today. I mean, not was it wasn't like not too long ago that they just elected, not elected. They um, you, you but word? you're really trying hard to kind of just no, no, justify. No, no, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, am. How about, how about this? Am. How about this? Just but, just hire an Asian actors. Yeah, that'd be you, a problem. You can solved. do that because you, they can do that. But the, but the thing is, is in in the story, they're not all Japanese. Like in the actual show, they're not all Japanese people. So you're right in that aspect. But at the same time, since they already incorporate that into the story, it's it, that's what makes it wrong because she's a Japanese person, and there are mixed cult, mixed race people in there. Right. But her name, even I think I don't think they're changing. It. I think her name's still gonna be Kusanagi in the movie. Right, which is which Unless, could play in the in the fact that, as I'm saying, she's a cyborg, and it could kind of be like I believe I said this before, like a reverse Psylocke effect, where right. as in Psylocke, the character from the X Men, she's an Asian assassin, but in all honesty, before she was like the she has her appearance, she was a British blonde, blue eyed white lady right. it's just that she transferred her mind that's, into uh, that body that's ebratic well that's, that's so, different no no i i get it but that's what i'm saying that maybe i'm just saying in this case I'm not saying it's too far-fetched that the original oh uh, so what Japanese so what you're saying lady, that we're gonna we're gonna see the whitewashing in the movie itself like it's gonna be super meta mm-hmm. like yeah, she's sure. gonna start as a yeah. japanese actress that you dies or something that and, would be better and then they I put her into that. I yeah, guess like so. maybe they can f- really explain on how she became. Like, Hi, hey guys, this isn't racist. I think you're giving him a little cyborgs. bit too much credit. Well, I'm you're not. T- you're I'm talking not saying, about. Uh, I'm not trying to give him too much credit. I'm just trying to say that Rupert maybe Sam- Rupert Sanders. Who's that? No, re- Who's no that? relation to. <clears throat> is there? Wait. No. Yes, maybe. they're related. Low key, <laughs> low key Bernie? Sanders fan. How do you think? How do you think this movie got pushed through, man? Uh, well. <laughs> I don't think I mean, Bernie. I, I don't, nah, I don't think Bernie would. He wouldn't sign off on this, but I, you never know. <laughs> his, his he would like, not. I'm against this movie. You never know. He might have saw some good things in this. I mean, making of this movie. Rupert, but then, Rupert Sanders, born 1971 in Westminster, London, England. That's and not. He brought, that's not New York. That's not Brooklyn, New York. But no. he brought to you the amazing Snow White and the Huntsman. Oh God! 2012. Have you seen that? Ah. Oh. I did see it. Was it good? It was, well, well, what's the problem with that movie? <laughs> it was all right. What's but the problem I don't, with that I don't okay. think that he can like he, he. It's not the type of movie that it's gonna make you think like, oh wow, this Asian character uh, fucking transferred her brain into you know this other body. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you know I don't trust it's, him. It's, it's not the type of directing that he thinks that deep. He's, he's like, oh yeah. shit, I forgot. Well, uh, t- I mean, I mean though, like one her. thing though, like just since you guys are saying this and it's just been on my mind the director doesn't actually write the story they just take the script and they make it however He's in charge, well, sometimes though. yeah they can okay. change shit okay so I'm, I'm just saying like he's he's in charge of the overall vision of the movies not necessarily in charge of you know oh in this scene this is gonna happen and blah 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 i mean blah, he blah, could yada, if yada. he wanted to and they allow if if they gave him that freedom I mean, there's yeah, right. if, the produ- if the producer said, "Yeah, you can do that." Okay, because I, I thought that was the the the, the writer's job, but uh, and anyway. the director has like the he's the, he's the the last say, yeah. the last say, mm-hmm. yeah. unless the, really. unless the studio, the studio yeah. if the studio says decides the studio's that like, he doesn't have the last say. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably what really happened. The studio is like, look, Scarlett Johansson, she's hot, she's hot, she's she's, hot right now. she's the Black Widow, Lucy. Yeah. Who, whoever's she, flipping the bill she, has the last yeah. say. That's exactly. that's pretty much how it works. That money. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's people that are saying that, like, listen, if you wanted a Ghost in a Shell movie, then this is this is the only one you're gonna get. The yeah. one with Scarlett Johansson in it. Probably. Yeah. And if without her in it, this movie doesn't get made. I mean, to be fair, it also happened in the, what was that other Japanese one with Tom Cruise about the robot suits and he kept dying and coming back to life. Uh, uh, Samurai. <laughs> that's uh, a whole ed, other ed, thing. Edge of Tomorrow. That one? <laughs> edge of Tomorrow. That was a edge Japanese tomorrow, story. Or... They completely changed that shit. Yeah, they made but that. Was all that white was people. that based in Japan? Yes. Mm. Yeah, that was based. It was, in it was, it was read, yeah, it was a manga, and it was I, a manga, which, yeah. which I didn't. I didn't read. Yeah, I think that wasn't as as really commonly good, known. That's probably what people didn't. That's why nobody knew about it. Nobody yeah. cared. So, so I'm here reading here that the actual publishers of of the Ghost in the Shell property, they really don't give a shit. They, they really don't care. I read that. I mean, that's, not, that's not the writer. That's the publisher, though. No, but I, ha- I have thoughts on that because it's like it's they got a paid. Company. Yeah. Of course, yeah. they're fucking but happy that, fucking care, that their book is or whatever <laughs> because they're 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 biased at this point because they got. Yeah. A lot of money, and what that article says is that, oh shit, our property is going to be seen around the world. Great, yeah. I don't care if you whitewash it. We're going to. Yeah, end yeah. Up he also, and he also said, money. I thought, which I thought was really interesting, the the publish, the guy that works at the publishing company. He said, I never imagined a Japanese actress in the first place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, we're not even he, like, he, yeah, like he probably knows that that's not what sells. But it's it's he's more just, he's it's just more like than the just racism, the, the racism is so deep that he was just like, yeah. Yeah, like, it's. Well, I think it's more than just the publisher and the studio. I think it's giving opportunity to a lot of uh, Asian actors. I I know a lot. I've been meeting a lot of Asian actors here in San Francisco. Nice. And uh, oh yeah, and um, they they always every time <laughs> every no pants, every time that there's a new role or they go in for for an audition, they always mm-hmm. they always they know like they go knowing that we're pro- we're probably not gonna get the part because they usually just cast a. A uh, white person. That's usually white male. You know, tw- twenty to thirty. That's that's usually the 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 people that get casted. So when a role that it's like clearly an Asian character is also given away mm. to to uh, to non Asian people, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. shit, man. It's like not only do we not get an opportunity to to be casted in. Just regular just as, movies as but, a guy but it, exactly but if if an asian movie where i should have like a leg up i can't even get into that then it's like shit you know yeah i mean that that happened and um what movie was it i think it was a a movie about like counting cars or something like that hmm. but um it was based off of i want to say like some college kids and a professor or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. and yeah, that's one you know uh 21 they got into black jack or something like that yeah i think but then kevin spacey um, was the professor if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah but like in the uh actual movie everyone's like white wait w- but so, i mean wait, it, it was, is so who, sorry, who were the original like was it an original story or it's just a i believe it was an original story like real story or something like that oh, based, on true story. Like based on two i want this is just what my memory serves me and it, of course it was an all asian and you know of course there was a little bit of backlash back then when it came out but you know once again it's not a very known story if they were to do this to Akira, mm. like they did I, plan I, to do. I personally would, I would hate that because, like, that well, is. What's the difference, though? Yeah. The, the the big difference for me is that, as I already stated, with you know she's a cyborg. It's is in that dystopian type of future where it could, if we write the story today, it can possibly have so other you, races. What you're, in see, it. you're seeing is like let's wait till it comes out. And let's see how they handle the situation. Well, yeah, story, but I'm saying story like, wise. yeah, I'm saying that. But if they address I'm it in the movie, then maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Sure, like, because I'm saying of the times that we live in now, you know, we can see a future where cyborgs are of different races living in a place. You know, it's kind of like um, what's that movie, Blade Runner? You know, like downtown. It was it San Francisco or L.A. or whatever. Los you Angeles. know, San Francisco. You know yes. exactly. <laughs> No, that was in that one movie. Big uh, Hero Six. Yeah, Big yeah. Hero Six. But exactly like that, how you you can see the culture influence is still big there. So maybe something like that can happen over there in Tokyo, and it's still Tokyo. But now what I'm saying with Akira, and this is an argument that I had with someone before, is that unlike a majority of other animes, 
you can see in the style of the drawing that it's very like their characters aren't very they're not holding to a particular race you know let's say if you have a, a dark skin character their eyes are still the same way you know like features are pretty much generic you know but in akira you know the eyes are different slanted everyone everyone has you know that that same like caucasian-esque whatever pale skin um mm. s- um skin tone so the artwork the is movie. what is kind of driving the artwork, driving exactly your, your it opinion. tells me but what about the story it itself though what about like where the story comes from like the story right. of ghost in the shell is is very technologically grounded right right well it's cent- not- it centers around tech in, in, the, when, in at, the original movie, uh, Ghost in the Shell, she had more uh, Asian features. It's only in the in the the TV show that they made made them a little bit more generic looking. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was for the. I, I see animation. what you're saying, but like even in that, like it wasn't like from my perspective of like from the manga itself. Like she had like the big eyes and everything like that, and in the in the actual anime that you're talking about. Mm-hmm the movie you're talking about she had a very g- plain generic face you know it wasn't just like um defined as if you look at tetsuo's face or anyone else from that movie but, you know that's what i'm trying to get at i mean to be fair you can't really go off of a cartoon style true i mean Ak- right, akira was what, like super super it was more more detailed and and put more effort into showing that yeah this is clearly japan we're gonna make everybody look japanese hardcore or look more asian i suppose right but this like if you go to the original ghost in the shell anime uh animations or uh character design it's just like this is 80s anime look right that's period. what i said i mean if anything you know? i have to disagree with luis and, and say that in the movie the first movie it was actually more white she looked more white in the actual right movie. oh really and she then, had a very plain face. And then once, and once she moved on to like the newer stuff, like in the two thousand, like what five, seven, and up, or whatever it started, yeah. it looked more like a, I guess an Asian person. So there's there's unquote. a new Ghost in the Shell animated movie yeah. coming out, or it already came out. Well, there's already been several movies since the new series came out. I think mm. I think two or three. I'm not sure. Since but, Standalone Complex, whatever yeah. it was called. What was your take on Speed Racer, the movie? Um. I thought it was I thought it was pretty fun. I mean it was a I, good I would, satire. I mean it was but, but over the top the same, but, but I mean I, I I see your point. Uh wh- right, where I mean, nobody gave a shit on that one. The difference is for that as well though is that well the that was it's so <laughs> that wasn't necessarily like a movie about a Japanese situation. Yeah, like, the, this it wasn't takes based place in, in Japan. It's, it's about a Japanese named person. It's very, very centered around Japanese culture. So, like, Speed Racer is just about, let's fucking race in canyons all day. It's a That's universal it's story, Speed Racer. Yeah. Whereas Ghost in the Shell is not universal. It's, it's centered around Japan at the time, which was at the time was very technologically kind of advanced. So, it has right. everything to do with coming they from Japan. They Betamax and, and then, VHS. And then if you take Scarlett Johansson, put her in the lead role, then it, it pretty much negates the whole story it's not ghost in the shell anymore okay so definitely let's just say the girl from uh pacific rim if she was to be announced to be the lead character in ghost in the shell Uh uh-huh every this whole thing would not definitely happen like everybody would be a-okay with it yeah Yeah. pretty much yeah yeah i mean is that is that easy Okay. But according to Hollywood, is not is like they can't they can't figure that out. Like they're not. But he, here's here's another thing. Mm-hmm. When you buy a license to to a property or 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 rent it or whatever the hell I don't know, uh, you're gonna make it for your immediate audience, the audience that you know you're you're gonna sell to, and they're selling to an American audience, so they're like, well, you know, they they. They pray. They fall for that fear of like, oh man, if we choose somebody that we don't know, even yeah, though there are choose, plenty of famous. If we choose a Japanese actresses, actress, they're gonna be. They're like, oh, we don't know about her. <laughs> yeah, it's like, who's that? I don't want to yeah. see that. But but you know, it's Carla Johansson. Just you know, it's been in all the the Marvel movies recently, so she's a 
hot ticket right now. So they know that that's going to sell. Mm-hmm. Whereas, I mean, I mean they don't really know. They don't know. They, they're just guessing. No, no, that's what. Well, they yeah, that's what I'm saying. They they see the trend that hey, Scarlett Johansson's a popular name right now, so let's cast her. And I mean, maybe she auditioned for it and she did a great job. Who knows? You know, we we don't know that yeah. shit. But it's it's it, what I, what I'm saying is like wherever the movie, it's very possible if the movie would be produced in India, they would have had an Indian lead, and. You know, right. you know what I'm saying. Like you're, you're kind of selling to your immediate audience, uh, at least the ones that they know they're that the studio is selling to. Of course, the U.S. is a little bit more diverse than a lot of other countries, so there's something to be said about that. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know I, I really like your there's point. There's definitely there, a ba- there's definitely a bad habit there, and I, I think that's what people are. What this movie or there's a couple other movies. That's what's starting to like make people realize. Oh shit, we are kind of whitewashing this shit. Yeah, and the pro- yeah. and the problem is is like what you were saying like yeah, if you go to India, I mean, you'll have uh probably an Indian guy, but, but the difference between them and, and here is majority of your population over there is going to be almost like 99% Indian. And yeah. you come over here and you have such a huge assortment of people, there's no reason to not find a good actress who is even known who's an Asian person who could do the role. It's just, yeah, it's like you said, it's a safety net, essentially. It's mm-hmm. like... Well, in the end, though, the majority of the people who are here are white, so mm. it plays out. It, yes, yes, uh, we can't... The numbers... Not for long. Not for long. No, no, I'm saying, like, if if <laughs> if you yeah, separate... Like, if you separate... If you... I think if you, if you separate each individual um, race, race, then I think <laughs> that... Uh, that uh, Caucasians are a larger number. Yes. But if you were, if, if you're just comparing white people versus everybody else, then no, they're, they're white people at that point are a minority. Oh, oh of course. Already 2016. Yeah. I mean, here but, in Cal- uh, for sure in California. Yeah. As they say, that's the way of the land and that's kind of how it goes. And I mean, the brilliant thing is though, is that, at the end of the day is that we're actually having this conversation and people are thinking about it and we're starting to see everything trickle, you know, make little breakthroughs, you know, like I think even now, like, like the new Hulk, he's Asian. Um, I'm a deus chow. Uh, <laughs> and like, you know, like just little things here and there. Um, I think like Miss Marvel, she's, she's, um, Pakistani, I think. Pakistani. She's Muslim American. Right. Kamala Khan. You know? And just having characters like that be taking on major roles in the Marvel universe, you know, it's it's really going to show how things are going. You know, and believe it or not, for me, I think this really it's always been happening, but this push into making characters a different race and you know seeing the potential of it uh really had to come around with with spider-man yeah i was gonna ask about that you know with uh donald yeah well donald glover as peter you know, parker they're gonna make him miles morales he, he wanted to uh he auditioned sorry for the same role that andrew garfield did you know and of course he didn't get it and Racist. when was it he, he, got, he got a voice acting gig right I don't, didn't he voice sure. he voiced like Spider Man in a, in an animated show? I think I so. Think. I think so. But no, it was Miles Morales that he did actually mm. in the end. But I mean, back then, you know, uh, of course, it seemed like the world wasn't ready for that, and you know, well, not really, you know, probably not ready, but the executives weren't ready to portray a different Peter Parker. So that's when uh, Michael Benedis or something like that, he took his role in The Ultimate Spider-Man and that's when he killed off Peter Parker and he brought it around the Miles Morales character. You know, and to me, like, that's good because that also opened up for everything, you know, having different people of different races and just having different genders even come through, you know, on the spotlight. Miles, Miles Morales is... Is he Puerto Rican or Cuban or uh, Dominican? I think he's, he's Dominican. He's isn't he? like Spanish black. Oh, he's just African American <laughs> and also like Puerto Rican. Like, I think he's supposed like to be Dominican. 
So I'm not I'm not too sure like where he where he really is. But since the uh, the Secret Wars are finished, he's the hey, Spider Man. Don't spoil it for me. I'm still oh, I'm, I'm in right in the middle of Secret oh, Wars. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I mean Spoilies. Sorry, spoiler alert, but I won't talk about it more because You know I'm you sensitive. Know, you can spoil I movies. I don't care about movies. Hey, I'm sorry. Don't spoil the books for me. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey okay, I'm, I won't continue. Oh, okay, so uh, his father was African-American. His mother was Puerto Rican. Oh. Oh. A Puerto Rico. Oh. Was that Puerto Rican Judo? A Puerto Rico. Boricua. Judo know if I got a gun. Judo know if I got a knife. So, yeah. Um, Culo. So, yeah, whitewashing. We're starting to see the... The negatives of it, and I think it's about damn time. What? I think it's about damn time. That oh, I thought you said dinner time. Oh, dinner time. Whitewashing Sorry, I see the white is dinner time. And it's dinner time. I'm hungry. I see ya. Nah, I mean. I was like, what? Are you talking we, how about? do you whitewash dinner? Uh, you just, bleach don't it use all? seasoning. Just don't use seasoning. Just a lot, just a lot of salt. Don't use any spices. Just lots of salt. Just cover it. <laughs> Can't see nothing else. <laughs> Or just use only um, Alfredo sauce. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. All over everything. Gross. Uh. So you have Doctor Strange coming out soon. Mm. Yeah. Right. Benedict. Cumberbund. What's this, how do you say it? Cumber? Cucumber? Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Cumberbatches. Is that thing you wear at a wedding? A little what? waistband. I mean, <laughs> the Cumberbund. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited. Yo, that shit looks oh, sick, that like dude. Looks ridiculous. Oh, you know what I don't like, though? Somebody said, I was, I was reading Uh-oh. online. I know that's dangerous. Uh oh, that's the first do it. Let's do first it. mistake. But they were like, "Well, Tilda Swinton's character, obviously the ancient one, people have problems with that." But somebody said like, "She's a a, a karate master, a kung fu master." Like, she's not, she's not Tilda, she's not, Tilda Swinton she's, herself. You mean or no? The character, I believe it because there's a move she kind of does like a punch or something, but it's not martial arts. No, like Just, where she like knocks him out of his soul or whatever. Yeah, exactly. He, she knocks him into. The fucking the, um, the Doctor Strange world. Yes. <laughs> That's what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called the Doctor Strange world. I'm mm. pretty sure it's not. But anyways, she goes know, and does, yeah, she knocks him into the astral plane. And people are online are like, oh, another white lady uh, doing martial arts. It's like, what, what the fuck's wrong I with mean, that, though? Yeah, that, <laughs> nothing's that, wrong with that. Yeah, can't white ladies do martial arts? <laughs> Yo, uh, wasn't Bruce Lee's daughter like half Asian, half it's white? His son, for, his son and daughter, yeah. Both. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> All he, she could have been Lee. adopted. Or he movies. had a... But she's she not was, in this she movie, though. Secret <laughs> child. Also, wait, what was that one cool famous she was. Uh, martial artist? I can't remember her name. I think it's like Sandra something. Song. Not Sandra Song. She's a white lady. Like She was mm. like... Bullock. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Hey, anyway, continue. What are you I saying? mean, you know what? If San- Sandra Bullock versus Wesley Snipes. Bullock. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the days, like well, no, that would have been get, a good. When did that happen? She... Well, what? the Bullish Man could have exactly. happened. Oh yeah. Well, they, they it didn't happen though. It didn't though. But, but she... close call though. Everybody everybody knows Wesley Snipes is a trained. Yeah. Master what? of the of the well, dark What about arts. what about Wesley Wesley Snipes versus <laughs> Michael Jai White? It was like the only two black martial artists I know. Ooh. I, I think uh, Michael, uh, whatever white, would destroy him. I don't think so, I don't bro. Know. You're crazy. Nah, I don't know, though. You're crazy. I don't know. Wesley don't Snipes? Know. That, Wesley that Snipes. That might be, like, let's say both of them in their peak. Yeah. Pe- oh, someone, wow. Someone, we need to get a, to the Someone farms. make a computer-generated yeah. action scene of that. What is, how do you, like, what's that show? Warrior? Yeah, uh, strong, greatest warrior, or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. greatest warrior. We need to do a, a, a CG, greatest a CGI hero. Mock <laughs> just up. put it in the fucking stats. Okay, no, all right. So no, let's just look at it. What was Michael J. White's peak movie? Spawn. Spawn. Mm. Spawn that sucks. Oh, Black, Black Dynamite. Dynamite. Black Dynamite. Dynamite. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, wonder I think, if more I think people made know Spawn or Black Dynamite. He. That's why I said, dude, he'd be so good. But he's like, oh, I mean, he's too old. I'm yeah. like, but what? Not, he's too old. Not really. Yeah, he is like 50 years old. Yeah, oh. but you can't really tell, man. Or can you now? I don't know. I haven't seen pictures of him recently. <laughs> I think possibly the reason why I didn't go with him is because... Racist. Sorry. I think they wanted someone who can probably act a little bit oh. better. Oh, Shots damn. fired. Shots fired, for real. I'm, I'm, I'm going to forward think this to Chaz, my Chaz, Twitter. Chaz is a little <laughs> bit of a better actor than... Uh, <laughs> Well, what else was he, was he in? Who, Chad's? Yeah. Uh, Chaz Bowman, he was in Get On Up. Uh, he was 
the the Godfather of Soul. Uh, I thought that he is... was Marlon Brando for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon Brando. <laughs> he was the Godfather. I was like, damn, hey, yo. He was in there with like. I got a favor. <laughs> With the oh, with the, uh, the cotton yeah. balls in his mouth, yeah. <laughs> in his cheeks. <laughs> no, he, up uh, on he played as James Brown. What he was in the you Dark Knight. Hardest. What Michael J. White was in the Dark Knight. I guess. Yeah, he was a guy he that was, he was one of the the the, crim, the warlords, <laughs> the, the, yeah, crim, was, the crime lords. Oh yeah, that's right. On the, the table, the crime, the crime families. Yeah. yeah, he's at the table. He didn't get to fight or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was at the table. Is he? No, is he, he the one that the with the now. with the uh, the pencil in his eye? Mm. No, one of his thought. dudes got it bad. One of the goons. Yeah, one of his goons. Oh, so he, he was the, like he the was like the boss. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so peak Michael J. White. It, it's kind of rough because if you really haven't followed his movies, you really probably only know him. Well, we only know him in two movies, really. Uh, your man from White Boys Can't Jump or White Men Can't Jump. <laughs> white Boys. Um, <laughs> um, Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Woody, 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 Woody Allen. Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh Woody ha- it's Woody I had a stroke, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woody Allen. Anyway, <laughs> hey, I'm into it. So um, Wesley Snipes in that. It's like it, he's. Right? A, I can see Woody Allen in like uh, the the Ice Age movies. Woody oh, Allen. That's oh, like it, and that's Ray. Yeah, he's friend. like kind of this neurotic juke. Like, hey, it's my friend Woody Allen. Yeah, but but, but, but yeah. it's cold out here. It's too cold. I can't come out. Here. I can't come. It's too cold. I that, that's so far. That we gotta outside. go so far. I don't. I don't, don't want to walk all this. I don't want to walk on top of the hill. Side. I can't reach that. Let's just go back in the cave. <laughs> oh God, I'm dying. <laughs> I I just watched uh, Manhattan for the first time. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> a couple uh, days ago. So it's a little fresh. Nice. Getting cultured. Nice. Willie Allen, dude. Nice. Dream, uh, who who does that? Dreamworks. Man. Dream, yeah, Dreamworks. Yeah. Yeah. Dream yeah. Money right there, guys. Yeah. Money. They 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 know. Bring it back. They they're gonna do it. They'll do it for you, Carlos. I'll call him up. Ice Age, before the Ice Age. The ice yeah. Age. So Wesley Snipes, Wesley Snipes, you got Blade. You got Blade. Obviously, that's number one. Wait, you got what, Passenger, I, I Passenger think, 57. I think we, we kind of got sidetracked on what the conversation was. <laughs> no, we're, 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 this is our side contract. Yeah. I mean, our side uh, conversation. We've obviously is. pivoted here. Because now, <laughs> now we're just naming movies that these guys were in. But are we still like... Are we figuring out yeah, who's a better fighter them. or who's a better actor yeah, or that's who's what, a better That's winner. what we're saying. That's what we're saying. We're actor, just calling out the name of the fighter. movies that they've been in, that they showed up their chops. They're fighting you know, chops. We're going to average out their scores and then yeah. de- determine a champion. I just want to say white man can't jump because he he's a baller in that. No, that's fighting. not a good, that's not a good you know? movie. That's not a good example. He's, he's shaking ankles, though. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's, he's that's actually like clearly not good at basketball in that movie. If, yeah. If, <laughs> all right, anyway, continue, please. So we got Passenger 52. 57. We got, it's 57? Yeah. All right. He was in Demolition Man. Oh, no? eh, Simon Phoenix. He was, just a, he was just kind of a crazy person. Um, I would say that uh, U.S. Marshals. <laughs> yeah, he was in that. He was really good. He had some, some moves in that. The clear distinction is that Wesley Snipes is, he has that 80s, early 90s action star yeah. ism to him and uh michael jay white jay white he he got a little bit of taste of the of the of the 90s with spawn which and... i i would love if he would reprise that i think he's still the the perfect i mean i think i think he, he did a great job in that movie i mean he looked like that movie just suffered like from pre from al simmons yeah al simmons he looked just like him in the comics, uh, I think well, Tom McFarlane said that they 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 they're open to they're doing to a, uh, a sequel to that. Yeah, he keeps saying that every five years. <laughs> yeah, right, well, so I know he'll make his, it. just so he can keep the yeah. property. Yeah. He's got to keep his name in the papers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw that picture you posted, Luis, with the Asian eyes. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Before. The little Photoshop that was funny. Oh, you did yeah, that? I just did. <laughs> oh, good job. Sorry, guys, you guys can't see what we have in our chat. Hey, you you, you can but, post um, that on. Uh, Pinterest? I don't know what the hell. That's next. We're, we're making a Pinterest next. All right, guys. Yeah. Just next so time. you know, I'm going I'm to let you know something real quick. All right? Uh-oh. It says here, Uh-oh. Wesley Snipes has a black belt in Shotokan Karate, second degree black belt mm-hmm. in Hapkido, and he's training wow. Capoeira. Okay. And he Damn. knows a little bit, oh, I didn't even little know bit that. of Kung Fu, a little bit of Shaolin, a little bit of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing. Well, what's a little bit though? Oh, it just says he has disciplines in it, which means he's studied it a little bit. He hasn't like got done like serious training, and it says here, yeah. 
Uh, Mike, Michael Joe White is an accomplished martial artist, and it says he has uh, nine different styles, holding black belts and Whoa. nine different styles. Shotokan, Taekwondo, uh, Kobudo, oh, Goju Ryu. Whoa. Fucking, and it says for which he studied under master whoever this is, who's evidently a big deal. The hard master. Tang Wushu, Kyokushin. Damn. He has, he's like legit. He, he, would, he, fucking, he would fucking kill Wesley Snipes, it seems. <laughs> Like Wesley Snipes All would right. die. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that. I mean, listen, he's, listen, he's better listen, trained, listen, and he's listen. stronger. I, I think. I mean, he's a, he looks, he's a little bit all, all you, all you gotta see is fucking uh, Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite. Just see that okay. movie. Yeah. Just yeah. really go I mean, back he, to that. He's and like just, he tanks in that movie, but that's only because Black Dynamite is super OP. <laughs> yes, no, yeah. but the blood with tangles no, is revolver. Come on. <laughs> No, what about, what about uh, so those two dudes versus Daredevil? You mean like the actual yeah. character of yeah. Daredevil? The actor or, or the, or the man yeah. who's acting is Daredevil? Because <laughs> the man who's so acting two normal is Daredevil, humans versus like superhero. Wait, Daredevil trained under the stick. I know. That, you know I mean, yeah, but now you're talking about fictional not, characters. You're not. You're cheating versus now. like real people. <laughs> it's like, what about Vegeta versus Wesley Snipes? Wesley Snipes' is Blade <laughs> versus uh, Daredevil from the show. Wesley Snipes. Uh, yeah. As Blade? Blade, though. Yes. Hmm. Blade, Wesley Snipes' Blade would kill Daredevil. Daredevil. I don't know. Dare, Daredevil uh, yeah, takes so. on like fucking 20 ninja motherfuckers at a time. Yeah, ninja motherfuckers. He doesn't take on like a half Like vampire. undead motherfuckers. <laughs> like ninja. He's, yeah, he fights undead ninja motherfuckers, not just yeah. regular ninja motherfuckers. Exactly. At, no, Daredevil, like no Daredevil fights an undead ninja, too. That yeah, he does. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, does. But he's, no, no, he's no, no, well, he, come, he keeps coming back. He gets. Right, how about, yeah, how he about, how about uh, Spawn versus Daredevil? Oh well, Spawn is <laughs> a fucking demon, man. Spawn. <laughs> you can't even kill Spawn. Spawn he just comes back. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I need, I'm fine. I got magic and shit. So, uh, so okay. what did you guys you get, think you about cool Daredevil? Chains. Anyways, not I've yet to see it, but I did enjoy the first season. <laughs> I have to get on that. Second season, way goyer and bloodier. Yeah, and the, the Punisher is well worth it. Yeah, I think yeah. I will, I would say um what's his name uh Jonathan Bur- Burrell. What's sure, his <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> yes, the actor he did a very good uh job Frank Castle. That's what I've been that's what I've been hearing. Frank Castle. Yeah, he plays it a nu a nuanced John Frank Castle. So he's, he's he keeps he keeps his like story kind of close like he does, he's not really open with who he is. Mm. But he plays the character as like somebody that has a lot going on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love him as a character, as a actor in um, The Walking Dead. So when mm. I heard it was him, I wasn't super excited. Um, not because I think he's a bad actor or anything. He's just he. It's one of those actors that I'm like, he, meh. He'll turn up in like a movie though, and he'll do like you'll be like, oh that dude, he's oh, in that. He was I didn't in, know he was in, uh, he was in Sicario. He was in. Wait, was he in Sicario? Yeah, he was the so, um, he was the the guy that she hooked up with, that was. Oh with yeah, the bad guys, yeah. He was oh, in. Yeah, he uh, tried to kill her. He yeah. was in Fury, right? That was like the, the Brad Pitt movie with the. I tanks. didn't see that. Was That's that fine. any good? But he he but he's like he pops up in movies and he does a good job. And then he was in um, oh, what was it was it uh where he plays like a lawyer? I think it was that HBO show that I watched with uh, Oscar uh, Isaacs. What? What show with Oscar Isaacs? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was uh, Show Me a Hero. Show me never heard of that. Hero. But yeah, he's he's a, he's an actor that I never like. I was never excited to see. Mm. But right. uh, yeah, he fucking pulled it off with flying colors in this one. I said I said I, I I tweeted something like when I was while I was watching the show, and it was pretty much like sums up everything that I think about Punisher. And that is, I've never seen anybody get killed with a, a coffee pot. Ooh, yeah. I didn't, I've never seen anybody get stabbed repeatedly with a coffee pot. So that was like, well, you know, you, you watch some movies and you kind of see it all. You know, you've seen it all. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was surprised. I was like, wow, I've never seen that before. It, it's pretty, it's seen, pretty gruesome. I've never seen anybody take a coffee pot <laughs> and just like stab somebody in the chest repeatedly with it. So big ups to you. Well, let me let me ask you guys a question. How do y'all feel about the Daredevil suit, like the the, the actual suit? Because the, the, his mask, his mask, a little bit derpy looking. Well, they, they, well, they he gets yeah, a new mask. He, he gets, gets a, a little one. derpy. It's it's a yeah. little like like his forehead is like really far forward and kind of like makes his fe- face look really smushed. Yeah, 
and it, he, yeah. he looks very young i think they, they <laughs> yeah he looks like he's like like about to sneeze like like he's like flaring his nostrils um but he um they updated a little bit in season two it looks a little better yeah, uh, it's, not, it's, not, not it a, seems not a like whole it's lot. a work in progress sorry to cut you off no yeah yeah i mean i, I think the other yeah, they're definitely trying to get there I think it works. I think it it looks Every, fairly everybody realistic. on the show starts off with like just like rags. Yeah. Yeah. Like what you would just like like if you decided to start fighting crime tomorrow, what what would you wear out there? Just like yeah. some I mean, it's logical. Like some like some Nike I mean, some Nike tights. But then they get like up it's like a like an RPG like they get like <laughs> okay. items. They found the fucking high, they the get, high yeah. ends. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But so they're 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 like throughout the show like it's the same thing goes for Frank Castle. He gets like you know armor at towards the end and he gets his uh yeah but he's just you know regular ass body his armor his he gets his punisher he gets his punisher he becomes a punisher at the end yeah like the true like uh like like well, where yeah where punisher. he where he he takes the persona more so than than just being he's a, just an asshole <laughs> mm-hmm and then, I, it, yes. and then uh, Electra too. She like starts off with just like like a Nike hoodie. You could just like pull pull the mask up. And then she finds like, her thong. Like, mm-hmm. Nah, they don't they don't no. put her in. That. They don't put her, but she she does get an upgrade, also like a uniform upgrade. No thong, man. Frank Cat or Frank Castle, <laughs> Frank Miller must be mad. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of when the the story of Daredevil really changed is when Frank Miller took over. Mm. And he wrote like such a dark version of Daredevil, yeah. which are always the best ones, dude. Everybody loves the fucking Frank Miller versions. I mean, there are there there there. There's a place they definitely have them. an opinion. There's a place. For them. <laughs> I think it's just it's it's the, just because of how gritty he goes. They with have a shit. point of view. That's Let's really put what it, it that is. Way. It's like how fucking gritty and and like like brutal he makes everything. That's the appeal. Yeah, people just like violence, but. I, I th- I think overall the Daredevil series is it's a good show of progression and I there's there's I no like season it. three announced yet so it's still oh, yeah, yeah it's they're, like they're they're, yeah, they're they're definitely gonna make a season oh, three they they haven't they, they haven't said we are but they're 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 they are making a Defenders show so that's parts of the okay. parts of the Daredevil story that are left unresolved mm. are gonna be further explored in the the, the Defenders okay. So you, you think they're gonna take a, a moment to chill and probably do like uh, can, Luke Cage, and then well, Luke uh, Cage is coming Iron out Fist. this winter. Mm. Really? Right. Mm-hmm. Pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And is there is there a Jessica Jones season two? Yes, yeah, Jessica Jones season two is already announced. Nice. And then the Iron Fist show is already announced. That's gonna be interesting. Iron yeah. Fist also a white guy. Yeah. Who trained? Who, who went to the? <laughs> The Far East and got his training hey. by a, not a white guy. Um, but that's how, I mean, yeah. That's how it was written. It was, I mean, it was written in the 60s and that was when, mm-hmm. you know, shit was written. That's when yeah. people, people didn't have no sense back then. They're like, where do you go to train like martial arts? Oh, you go to China. Most martial arts are from that area of the globe. True. That's yeah. that's where the that's where all the good ones are. I mean, I, I I'd go there. I mean, really, and truly, the only American martial arts of anything is boxing. It's, it's I MMA. Boxing. That, that's not did, even. That's not boxing even like things. started like in the UK though. Probably. Yeah, it did. We don't have one. I think. <laughs> I mean, I think Leper- probably, Leprechaun like, started if, it. If, um, if we had some Native Americans still being like prominent here, maybe we might have had our own style rain dance which would have been kind of hey i'm just fucking rain and fists you know speaking of iron fists they were talking about making the character himself oh yeah asian yeah just to kind of offset you know? the the original sin the like the, what would you call that <laughs> the f- what's the opposite of that the opposite of what's what? the opposite of whitewashing um come on getting it straight <laughs> The only problem, the only getting it right, but the only problem with it is that like I'm all for reversing, you know, the the tide. But if you're gonna make like a character Asian, we need more of those characters, obviously. But you're gonna do it. The one character that you do it to is like the the karate master. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That one makes that (laughs) that that guy should have been Asian from the beginning. It's like now it's like oh yeah, that's I see your point. Yeah. So you can't oh, you yeah, can't really touch uh, it. Let's make this one character Asian. 
Oh wait, no, oh, they fuck. should do it. They should do it with, with the, the Asian yeah, guy. Yeah, they should do it with somebody that's clearly a white character. Yeah, that's, that's what a, they did with Hulk. Oh, yeah. without yeah, that didn't that didn't pan out. No, he's a Hulk. Amadeus Chow. He's a Hulk. What about that what? Superman? Yeah, they're, they're, but even that Superman, he's like not the real Superman from what I've read. Uh, I think the oh oh the in the new China, China, in the Superman? new Superman re- yeah. The new it's rebirth. Not, not China, I, don't think, I don't think you're supposed to say China Man. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's a it's a comic book character. It's okay to say it. Yeah, it's his name. He's a Superman no. from China. He's China Man. Mm, you don't know. think that China would call no, him iffy. like China Man or something? <laughs> or I mean, the Republic of China Man. But then China Man people say China Man and Yeah, it's but not. Superman is not like American Man. Well, I mean they really wanted to call him that, I'm sure. Mm. Captain America well, that, was already there's, taken. there's Captain America. But is there a Captain China? There was oh what was he called when he was Russian in uh, the alternate universe? Or the uh, the Red Sun. The Red Sun. Yeah, that's a dope ass name, dude. That is a dope ass. Name. You know, I just thought up a dope name. Uh, I don't know, maybe for a band or something. But Ooh, a band. You know, I'm not sure if you guys have heard it before. But Chrome Scorpions. It's very uh very nice. 80s. It sounds like a it sounds like an 80s like rock band. <laughs> yeah, I like it though. I don't know. Yeah. I just thought of it. And... Yeah. The Chrome yeah. Scorpions. Feel, feel free. I'm just throwing Thank that out there. Feel free to go ahead and. Could be like hey. a, I like I kind of think of it as like a like a street gang or something. Oh, oh, with, with, with the the vest, the white vest with the gold or chrome, <laughs> the chrome scorpion. <laughs> Obviously, it would be chrome. <laughs> on the back. <laughs> but like like yeah. actual oh. like metal, and like they, metal, not like fabric. Ooh. And like their their niche, the, the the thing that they have is that they all wear roller skates. Chrome roller skates. Yo, <laughs> like they're not even plastic <laughs> wheels. They're chrome. <laughs> <wheels. Yeah. laughs> so you hear that shit and you get terrified, dude. You're like, oh. Fuck! It's all oh, shit, they're coming. <laughs> there was, those are the goons in the. Uh, wait, who were? Oh yeah, the uh, in Dogma. Dogma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. So the, 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 the minions, the minions like, yeah, like, they're all in rollerblades. Yeah, like the, the demon, the demon kids, like they would. They come in the little hockey gear around and roller hockey. Yeah, they went around with ho- roller skates. Those are roller skates. Those are roller blades. Hear that I'm talking about specifically. Well, whatever. Same, same thing. Oh, they were dead, blades. weren't they? Were they? They were from they were from the Nether Realm. Okay. But they just looked like regular dudes, though. Yeah, they were like minions of like Be- Bezel Bezelbub or whatever. <laughs> Whoever Jason Lee was supposed to be. I th- I think that yeah I think they did have they they did have a little undead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they were like superhuman, like they could rip you in two, and they make you drop your keys when you're getting in your car. Well, the, that's the the rollerblades. <laughs> That sound. <laughs> yeah. And it, who wouldn't? I think if you were going to your car at night and you heard any noise like that, you'd be I suppose like, if I saw like three ruffians skating as fast as they could towards me in hockey gear and be like, "Let me get in my car like mm-hmm. right now." Yeah, ruffians. They made they made deals. They're just, they're just grunge. With the deal. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know who Jason Lee was supposed to be in that movie. He was not Lucifer. He was like some kind of. He was like a. Other, he was another minion. Yeah, he was like a side demon. Little devil. Not Lucifer, but another guy that was also running shit. Lucifer was an angel. He was a sweetheart. Was. He's probably still Emph- is. Emphasis on the was. Probably he was still, I, the think he, I think he oh, gets a, a, a bad rep. Who? Lucifer. In general? That's what, every, that's what everybody says that. Oh, wait, no. Just Satanists say that. I think because... But then he, w- he just had like a disagreement. He saw God. With God. And then like God was like... Uh no. Nah, what what happened is you're 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 going to hell with everyone else who disagrees. Yeah, with what you. happened was Lucifer saw a guy who was super jealous and crazy and like, hey man, let's put these people in this garden and tell them, like, make them look at this fucking eat eat out this apple tree and kill him. I think he was already he was already down there when that happened. I think your your timeline is a little wonky. That yeah, I got the Adam yeah. Eve thing is a lot of sequence. I got to brush up on my bibble again. <laughs> bibble. <laughs> Uh, but well, you got uh, <laughs> you over there in Florida. You got uh, the land, the Holy Land experience. What is that? Up in our up in Orlando. No, that sounds Holy fucking shit. horrifying. It's like a how ride? do we not know about this? <laughs> it's like a, like a water ride. But it's like Bible stories <laughs> going past. You're going down like steep and Like ah, hey, oh, you're getting, like, baptized. Yeah, dude, that'd be sick. This guy fucking yo, like a minister just baptized in the fucking yo, waterfalls. That's not what it is. But now they secretly baptize you. <laughs> they secretly gotcha, motherfuckers. Baptize. You're Christians. That's now. how you get but baptized. Yeah. But think about it. You start at the top. You're a heathen, and then like when you're going down, like you go through like the whole like transformation. Oh, and stuff like that and you oh, hear, like, imagine like the seven rings of hell part oh, so, so, <laughs> oh, oh my god check this out maybe it maybe it's... and then like when you go into the water at the end like then you come up 
you're back. No, but at the, you're begin- at the you're, beginning, you're fresh. when they're showing yeah. you all the evil shit and the you know how, how humans are evil, yeah, it's like super dark, yeah. and then it goes into a dark room, and then it says like, but the evilest of them all, and then they lift up like the black thing. There's a mirror, and you see yourself, and you're like, you, ah, no, you're evil. Oh no. God, that, what have I done? <laughs> you killed Jesus. It was you. You paid to go down this water. <laughs> like, slide. Yeah, why did but I pay for But the thing this? is, do you do you constantly run it? Do you only go on it like once, or like you get back in line? Yeah, if you if you commit if you commit sins, again. you gotta do it again, dude. Well, yeah. you, I mean, you does it change? I mean, once once you're baptized, that's it. You're not a sinner anymore, right? No, you are. You just no. You can you still can sin it. afterwards. Now you gotta go repent, yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So so every time that you do a the sin, repent right is different ride. though. The repent right is a, a that's a different right. <laughs> the repent oh. is just a guy yeah. in a box yelling at you. It's like you have to go through a tunnel. There's just like like leather belts. <laughs> Ooh. And they all yeah. they all say Hail Mary on the buckles. Ooh. Ooh. Nine Hail Dark. Marys. Like, no, not nine. Wait, is that really what Hail Mary is? I thought it was like yeah, a it's pass throw something or really far. an extremely long pass. Oh no. <laughs> Hail Mary's a prayer. Catch nine Hail Mary passes. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> it's like damn, I gotta find a football stadium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah. And you and you have to who's, get the touchdown who's throwing too. At you? you have Jesus. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Good chat. <laughs> yeah. We've 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 got we've gotten to a weird place. <laughs> I always know when the pod is over when we just start talking about yeah random. <laughs> like, no, I mean I think we we Bible, we, we Bible land good. rides. We had a good so, conversation. Doctor Strange. So all right. So before we, whitewash, yeah, we're, we're, we're all be, in. It's gonna be we're good. In on that. Whitewashed, but it, should, it looks still good. good. It should be good. Uh. Just moderately Not whitewashed. Totally whitewashed. It's fine. It's just a side character. It's fine. Just a little bit. Uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell ha- whitewashed the main character, but you know, out I'll, on that. I'll, 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 uh, you know, if they can, if they can pull off the whole like, oh, she's just in a body, you know, good on your writers. You know, you you fix their problem. Um, mm. it's gonna be a tough one. I mean, they could just they could just put it in the very beginning, dude. Yeah. Just in the very beginning, just have her get like, oh, hey, you want to do this cool thing? And kind or of just live show her forever. like show like sure. a, a Japanese woman doing like a badass fight scene, gets her whole body destroyed, and then they take the brain out and they show it getting put into a new body. Like in the nineties. Uh, who knows? Got some interesting movies coming up. Time will tell if they're gonna be good, regardless of their white washing. Maybe we should get some more Asian washing. I mean, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, isn't that what movies are really about? Getting the most white people jobs. Yeah, give all the white people jobs. He's only done, <laughs> he's only done Snow White and The Huntsman. Everything else is the uh, short. Yeah. So there's, other than that, it's not a tr- it's not a trusted auteur. At least it's not the, the, what's that the film of the filmmaking process. At least it's not that German guy. Who's the German guy? Who always gets the game, like the game movies. You you evolve. <laughs> and he just fucking no, he's, shits he's him not, out. He did like the, the guy that did like all the Resident Evils. <laughs> Yeah, and the Doom movie. Yeah, but he's a he's um somebody's giving him a oh, run for his money. Like shitty game of, movies, uh, <laughs> just, yeah. just shitty movies, or, not, or just sh- shitty, you know, shitty uh the, those type of type of movies. Is he gonna remake uh, the the Running Man? No. What? That'll be actually kind of nice. Oh, I mean, that. it'll really kind of suck because obviously the the the, the prize actor Arnold of he would probably Arnold do it Schwarzenegger, you know will be lost like you how can you do like has anyone tried to remake any of his movies uh yeah like total recall oh yeah but they, they didn't even uh the see, terminators well all the terminators he was in so true you can't say yeah. except one well no he was even in that one too cgi yeah, i think he can't can't have him well. cgi he made a cameo so what? he's in, he's been all the time well anyways i was making a joke that sat sack snyder was gonna replace <laughs> you <Ball. laughs> oh yes that that joke took too Shots. long to manifest well, it, so. it, it, things happen things yeah. happen in between yeah. i think i stopped him <laughs> he was trying to get things it out quick. So yeah, whatever drop the hammer quick on that one. fuck snyder nah and on that note right. Just, just black, yeah. blacklist um, yourself. Hold on, hold on. We, we, we got, sh- a, we got shout outs. Do we, we have do like questions from the audience? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Twitter blast. Nah, do a Twitter That's blast. Shout outs are. Oh. No, no one has hit us up yet. Um, <laughs> just to let you guys know, we're probably gonna make a Facebook at some point in time. Cool. So I think people leave a comment be a below. Do you, do you want us to make a Facebook? Do you, 
Can you post comments wherever this is? Do not want us to to do a Facebook page. Should we stop doing these podcasts all (laughs) together? What do you guys say? (laughs) (laughs) Yo. All right. So once again, big shout out to some jerk and sing the flow for letting us use the broccoli man man for our theme song. Unofficial theme song. I mean, sorry, not theme song. Our in show. I mean, intro and outro. You said that it's like very Italian. Yeah, you said it with Woody Allen. (laughs) Intro and outro. Portuguese. Portuguese. Like like panthro. So yeah, we had a good night. Hopefully, you guys did too. And we'll see you guys later. And thank you, Jake. And thank you, Luis. And thank you, Carlos, for having a lovely conversation. Thank you. Tonight. Thank you, too, Shane. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. <laughs> Say good night, guys. Good night. Good morning. In what language? Or, or good day, whatever. Konbawa. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, nice. We're reaching out to the international crowd there. Yeah. Just, just, just Japanese. Just, wanna, just Japanese. Just Japanese. I just want to make sure all of our listeners get or get to work safe. Broccoli man. Broccoli man.